It's recorded. Hi, good morning, guys. So um, we definitely have a great grade this morning. I hope you guys are making some money. Like I'll tell you guys, it's all about patience. Uh, finding them, you know, the you know the right setups and then take it a trade. So kind of recap what we have done. Um, uh, you know, SGMO. So far, again, seems to be holding the trend. It's been if you notice, it's been having strong pops, uh, here and there. So I think that this is why average down on critical levels is very important. I haven't added more yet. Um, because again, I mean, you know, I'm just trying to see if the market behavior, you know, the momentum was gonna come back up. Because even though we feel the gap down, right? You always want to kind of like see if there's gonna be you know, clear accumulation, if there's gonna be, you know, any new PR, you know, they kind of you know follow up with the with the trade. But so far, oh uh, again, SGMO is still intact. I mean, even though we start going down, again, we just come off from earnings, so of course. Uh, you know, we got to see how, you know, it's going to consolidate and then sit it down down there. So whenever I add more, obviously I want to let you guys know so far, I'm just kind of waiting for the right time. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see if we actually come back down to the 60 minute, I think that will be like a great, you know, entry or DCA point around like, you know, 78, 77. Uh, but other than that, again, I'm still, on this is just a long-term, like I said, so I mean, I, I really don't care really what he does. Because again, I'm longing for the whole, you know, for the long run. Uh, now, one a stock that we actually trade today, you know, Indo, uh, I got it this morning. I put it out there in the chat for you guys at 3.40. And then I was like, patience. Uh, I was like, always scaling profits. So this is one of the things that I'll tell you guys. The moment that you see green scale out, you now scaling out, sometimes doesn't really mean that you have to sell all the position, but it's all about like, how comfortable you are, right? Because at the end of the day, every trade is different. So I can't really tell you exactly or nobody, wait, well, you got to sell here. Right. That's why we have to understand that everybody's different. You know, risk tolerance is different. So if you're not comfortable to hold in something, once you're green, take it. I mean, nobody's gonna tell you anything, you know, if you don't take it. If you don't take it and then you let it go red, and that's that's a totally different story, right? Letting letting a, a green trade go red, that is something that you know I always encourage you guys not to do. Because obviously, if you take the money now, you can take it, you can rinse and repeat. If you're still lag the stock so much, then you can always buy back again. But you don't have to let the green, you know, turn red. Even though if you think that's gonna go higher, that has nothing to do with letting it go red, right? If you think it's gonna go higher, then sure, take profits, and then if it dips, buy again, right? What is the difference? The difference is that most people, you know, matter the stock, they don't want to sell it, they don't want, they don't want to, you know, uh, avoid that or you know, make that minute, make that transaction, and they just hold it for the big pop, right? Some does happen, some does they don't happen. So that is the mentality that you guys need to change. Oh. Uh, and then you guys can sell, you know, ALDX, right? Uh, ALDX is a great trade. So far, you see, you're still looking good, but you see we start adding. We had the fundamentals. We, you know, we took some time. We had some patience. And obviously, you know, the guidance was right there. And we ended up having the nice trade. Now, because we took profits here, now that doesn't mean I don't like the stock. I, I thought that I like the stock, right? But that doesn't mean I'm not going to secure my, you know, my entry around 340s, 350s, right? When once we make 40 cents move, uh, I'm not going to take it. Right, so maybe it will be reckless for me not to take my profits. Okay, considering how the market is behaving. Now, of course, I do have you know some small runners, but that, that is not my complete position, of course, because I'm already securing that profit out. Because you never know what's gonna happen. You know, what if the market crash? What if the stock you know breaks the trend down? What if anything can happen? What if the stock drops out? You know, any news? You know, anything that might uh, you know, uh, involve to the price action of the stock, right? So that's why you want to always think about it, guys. And, you know, I'll keep saying every single day, you know, don't trade on targets. Trade what the market gives you. You know, the market gives you 5% if the market gives you 2%, 3% ticket. At the end of the day, you know, the idea of being profitable is just stay consistent, right? Can't, can't really change that. If you don't, if you're not consistent, then that's a problem. Now, um, I am watching Swim. This one, it seems to be consolidating above the, the CMAs. Uh, it's not clear though yet. I mean, I'm still watching. He's trying to break B up on the five minute. Uh, I do like that daily though, because it's a gap up setup. Uh, but ideally, we want to see 47 break today. Now, this morning, there was a pop to 42, which was similar, almost pop from like from yesterday, right? So you can't break it. You can't break it. Uh, that shows a little of a weakness. So something that you might you, you want to think about it, you know, it's a little concerning uh when you wanna you wanna take a trade, right? Although there is accumulation here, it is lacking volume. 
So you don't want to, you know, kind of like uh, anticipate things. Uh, now I'm watching ZCMD. This is a Chinese company. The only reason that I'm watching this one is because one, it has it has a pretty low float. It's 2.26 million float. It has a small gap up set up. Had a strong green candle the next day, which, you know, could potentially signal a bullish continuation just because it's closing over the 60 million and all the EMAs pretty much. You know, the buying pressure has been increasing. I also did notice that the shorts uh, are actually increasing on this one. You know, the cost of bar has been increasing for the past couple of days. And, and that is something that, you know, I want, I want to look. Now, Chinese stocks are very predictable for sure. I mean, they do pop and they can drop any time. But I'm just kind of watching in how, you know, since yesterday, the next couple of days, we went from like 235 to 300. Now we're sitting at 400 cost of bar. So cost of bar, in fact, it is going up. Uh, and even the chart itself, you know, how the stock is setting up, uh, we're holding the trend now. We haven't broke down. So I'm still, I'm pretty, pretty much thinking I might get a start for a swing though is the only stock that I've noticed is, you know, quant accumulation on, on the chart. And, and I'm not liking it for sure. I mean, I'm liking the stock for sure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a, a started though. Now, remember, this is a, a, a very unpredictable stock, right? We're trading with, um, with, uh, Chinese stocks. And, and, you know, the economy is, is just wild out there. So that's why you got to be traded carefully. Uh, again, I started, it wouldn't be a bad idea here. Obviously, we need some volume, right? Does it, that's, that, that's another issue here. That there is, the volume has been spread uh, throughout all the markets so far. I mean, I haven't seen a consistent runner, right? Most of the stuff's been popping and dropping. And that's what, you know, what we call volume rotation. So when a stock pops, for example, you know, like, like ALDX did, the drop, that, the, that drop causes new... Uh, the volume goes somewhere else and then that's when you know stocks drop so even though i do like the setup we need to see some volume and some breakout critical levels right so right now i will definitely will get it started once we break 165 because that will show me you know strange as you see it can do it you know the lack of volume is just making the buyers leave and that is actually why it's dropping now uh so, but again, you know, LDX, it seems that the bars are still there, right? Hold the trend, but you see how the bars are still pushing up, which is great. Uh, that's great to see. Uh, you know, was, that doesn't mean that it can't go down, right? I mean, we, we talk about this one on the daily chart. It has a 4.8 to 100 EMA. So, it's possible they can just move toward, towards that, you know, towards that number uh, as long as respect the trend, as long as it stays on the trend, right? Uh, and then when I move this to, when move today with a you know kind of quite a moves and this is the thing right you know we don't know I mean when I broke our levels you know we took a loss on this one and at the end you know ended up you know moving up now we can't predict the future right let's get like I said as many times this happened many times it won't happen so at the end of the day it's all about like you know how what type of risk you know you want to take some people you know hold it but the problem is that what if it doesn't reverse. Right. What if you actually been holding forever? You are you actually over your risk management. You know, you always want to respect it. So can I don't feel bad because I feel like I, I respect my you know my my stop loss my risk management. And of course, it will have been nice, but you know, that's part of our career, part of our trading. Uh, you know, we gotta have a system. If we don't have a system, then that's gonna you know cost us a lot of money on the long run. Uh so now what else we have, you know, then CD, CDT, a nice runner in pre-market. Again, came on our scanners. You got quite in use. Uh, you know, you see a lot of trend all day, but pre-market hit a double top and it broke down, right? Now I'm watching PMEC. PMEC as well as the stock that it is setting up once again. And I still believe this is a way under value. I mean, remember they had an insider buying of this one uh, around like 83% of the company. Now the daily is showing accumulation. And now we having a potential for, it is potentially because it's not confirmed yet, but it's potentially forming a possible uh, three watt solar pattern. Right, it filled the gap down that it created. Now, last time you spiked to one of four, but we have the one point twenty two to hundred. I mean, now can this go that higher? I mean, we don't know, right? I mean, you know how the the float is still there, but we need volume, right? Most of the stocks are moving in low volume, which is not really good, good because obviously we want to see more consistent volume. But give me one second. I want to take this call really two minutes. I have to send this alert.
Okay. So, yeah, where are we at? Then uh, I was watching as well TN TNX. Uh, TNX, it seems to, uh, we still have like, you know, huge gap. I mean, they had like a hundred million proper placement. So they're, they're quite a fundamentals in a couple, couple of plays, um, but we don't have the volume though. Uh, so again, I'm just keeping my eye on him, you know, keeping my watch list open, of course, like always. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, LDX pretty moving pretty nice. 395 so far. So we'll see what he does. Now, large cow has been doing pretty good. I mean, if you were uh, following the level, so you following the trend, <clears throat> you never broke down. Somebody said, oh. So, yeah, so if you guys have been holding the, the trend so far, and it's been riding the trend, obviously, you might, you might want to have to be in those calls like way early, right? Like around 524. Once we, you get, a, you know, the confirmation that you got buyers, you got the buyers stepping in. I mean, right now, we'll be super, super risky getting calls. Even though we're about the trend, uh, we do see some uh, sellers accumulating on the stocks, especially in SPY and most of the large caps right now. So, definitely, and it's a risk. But, um, even if he breaks it, we'll have to break high of the day for me to probably consider something. But at this point, it's best, you know, to be safe and just watch and observe how things play out. So go check Tesla. Tesla as well, you know, they're pretty good. They had a dip. It has a 60 a minute, as you guys can see. This is why the one minute and the five minute is important. Because what you see on the one minute needs to be confirmed with the five minute. So it came down to the 60. If it broke, and then actually then it bounced in, closing about, gave you the confirmation, right? Once the bar step in, and you get a nice ride. Now, we're still below the 100, which is the 100, so it's a very strong signal like the level. Now you also see on your time frames that we're testing the 20 MA, right? So we are still te technically bearish yet because we haven't reclaimed the trend the trend lines, even on different time frames, right? Even on the, the one hour, right? We're still below the 60. So we're still showing a rejection so there's a chance that could be, you know, a rug pull or you soon the market can just can attack later on the day, right? As long as we don't see that confirmation. Um, we looked at media. Be as well, you know, kind of take a dip. Came back to uh, pre-market lows. And they're still holding the trend right now. But as you guys can see, it's still, you know, right in there. So media is the only one that seems to be pushing so far right now. Uh, four hour. It is trying to break the twenty MA. And the one hour as well. We're trying to break the sixty. So it's the only stock that seems to be riding the trend mostly, for now. Like you know, on a stronger basis. Uh, but again, most of these moves, uh, in my opinion, like is, is you should have been already in this. I I don't trade trades when you know things are already this high, because I will be pretty much chasing. Uh, was you know low risk you know low risk reward because contracts are already priced in you know they're much higher right now do the moves uh yeah mgl seems to be running pretty crazy let's keep on the scanners let me see i don't know, i haven't even looked if it came on the scanners or not i just kind of like notice it right now oh it's you know, running it came on the scanners yeah, that was quite a move. <clears throat> it's a huge bound from support right at the Andre MA. Let me see. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions with me to look anything or you guys actually watching something important, let me know. Again, so far, you know, right now, I'm just relaxing. You know, we already have a green day. Not, not necessarily to overtrade. You know, I'm a Rex. You guys see I'm at some. I mean, I'm still looking forward. We have 
fundamentals back in this up. This is a, a catalyst stock. Uh, we need some news. So obviously, I'm gonna keep you know waiting. I'm gonna give it like a one two weeks. Uh, then probably if not, I'm gonna average down again. You know, again, kind of like make you realistic as far as you know, like a stroll of a small account. But I can think about one of my mayor look my mayor watch. Well, it's gonna be C Z M D. Uh, but other than that, I mean, and you see, scanners are kind of quiet. Uh, we haven't really. Most things are not moving a lot. That's kind of you. Just when that's when you notice that um. It's kind of just how you know that the volume is not like there yet. You want to be patient because when a lot of when the volume is on the market, this momentum, you see a lot of move stocks moving out, like breaking out, you know, doing doing pops here and there. But if you don't have those, then that tells you something, right? That the volume is not on penny stocks for now. So you want to be patient as far as like, what are you going to take? So that's why I'd rather wait. Like I said earlier, you know, it's all about, it's not about like how many trades you take. It's all about the like, Quality of trades you take, that makes a difference. Uh, because again, obviously, you can obviously make a lot of money with one trade, but obviously, it needs to be the correct trade. Otherwise, you know, you can lose. Yeah, the is doing pretty, pretty good. Again, it's all about you know, once you actually spot the right one with the right fundamentals, you see what it does. Now, LGM knee. I hope nobody's been chasing that. I saw some people trying to trying to buy that one early morning, but you know you don't have the uh, the momentum anymore there. I hope people don't get didn't get it. P. This one is what is a very uh we trade this one. I this is a very very bottle stock. Now we cover with this one. Oh, this one can have crazy moves too. The LDX four or three, nice move. <clears throat> uh, it's pretty normal though. When when news come out, a lot of times that's what happens. Uh, this that's what we call sell the news, and that's what Abby says. You know that was that opening. So opening people takes profits. You know, uh, it's a lot of volatility happening there. You know, buying and selling, buying and selling, and, and that's that's normal. That happens a lot of times. But they're you know clear from the mentors in this particular case, right? Because that's why you know I, I like to look into the stocks, like look into it before buying, and to like not only read in the in the news, but look in the potential that they can have, right? And like I said, they I mean they still have a gap to fill. It hasn't filled completely. The daily is there. Uh, you know, possible double bottom. We had a breakout of the five minute. Uh, again, we had news to sustain it. So we got several things really, you know, kind of like uh, to point in the right direction. And at the end of the day, we're just trying to make the most uh knowledgeable decision. And that's that was that was why I actually took it, right? And again, that's why I actually wait because you know, I, I'm I'm not bound just why and I take my time to read and to you know to investigate and make my DD. Right. I did so expand, and, and that's the thing, you know. I, I kind of like don't like to trade those those soup soup pennies because one, I don't know if they're actually gonna have the list. I have to look, even though they close an offering, they could have a potential to listing anytime. Uh because you know how cheap they are. So that can give them momentum when they can actually make the stock drop too fast. And, and you know, for this stock to recover, it's it's kind of Kind of quite a deal, so you know I'm I'm not really a big fan of these stocks. You can remember all the gaps doesn't need to be filled. Not all the gaps filled though, 
right? That's the thing, you know, sometimes sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And especially with the Spanish dogs, you know, it's a very risky situation, you know, to consider. They, you know, it's going to fill the gap because it's not guaranteed, though. So, you know, people think, oh, it has the gap, it has to go there. No, that's, that's not how it works. Uh, not all the time, it'll got felt. It all depends if the fundamentals and the depends at the bottom and the momentum is there, you know, kind of like to sustain the move towards the gap. So, uh, well, Endo, I mean, uh, you shouldn't be on Endo. Also, again, we actually make quite a move, quite a money in this one as well. Make to 404. You reject the same area. Now, this is like I said, this is a momentum stock as well because this moves with the oil and you know how the war is going. Again, we do have a quite quite as a pop. Now, I don't short stocks by the way, so but it seems that if he doesn't able to break down, might come back down to uh, you know, to a 314, 315s to test test the 20 MA. But I still believe, you know, that this, you know, this LDX has more potential uh, to go. Now, obviously, it definitely needs to break the daily 200 May. It's 408. Uh, but that trend seems to be pretty healthy, though. I mean, we're still pressing. But like I said, this is why I was, you know, going long on this. Because even though spikes, uh, they need to grab some liquidity to keep moving higher. And you know when the market is like this low, you know, kind of like look into a potential other potential runners, see what we can see if we can actually find one. You know, MGL, you know, came came back that four dollars. And this is the thing, this is super, super thin flow. Six twenty-nine thousand flow, damn. Super thin. I don't even know why it's so thin. Let me reverse it again. Yeah, but you see how CZMD is behaving. Uh, I still believe it's funny because you know the four hour chart we went to two point fourteen. Well, uh, on the daily setup is there. Uh, sometimes you notice like the daily charts won't match what the four hours do. That's because of the volatility in happening break market. But it's hard, hard, really, really hard to predict. Uh, what's gonna do? Shame too. It's been consolidating, accumulating there, but he can't break out.
Mm -hmm. Let's see, it's carrying momentum now. So this is what I'm looking at, right? This is, that's exactly what I'm trying to see. Because again, that daily, not like it's going to go to 355, but there's a huge problem there. LADX, my nice, nice trend. Yeah, so it's getting traction. So we raised 170, which is pretty size, is going to pick up. Well, 170 this is the what well, is the daily high but at the same time that will allow you you probably move those like you know 180s yeah it's it's Okay.
It's running a trend. I'm you all actually broke that right now. Thing, this thing is snap, man. Thing is snapped at four, four break to four sixty two. Wow. So MGLH, I think, hold on, let me see something. Uh, no, that one is that. Yeah, I'll snap a, a low flow there. 409. Yeah, we're tapping the daily 200 main too. That breaks, then we open. It is open to previous highs, just for twenties. Could go there. Breaks that one. Yeah, I'm very very interested on this um CCMD. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get it started though, and that was the if. This is always gonna depend on how things perform. We do have a break. Uh. I think we can probably see twos. So I got my started at one point sixty seven. Because again, looking at that, looking at the daily chart, that one seven last time I you know that I spike into like two point seventy ones. Well, like I said, this is high sky cost tomorrow. Uh, I haven't charted me yet, but I still believe this could have some you know continuation just based on 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 the data. And you know, like I say, guys, this is no warranty, guys. This is just we're looking into more like a bullish continuation. Charts are there for a fact, uh, but they're no warranty. Trend is there. I mean, we'd love to see the breakout. We need some bars stepping in on that one. 417 LDX breaking up, I and that's it's a nice trade. Yeah, it was not like I said, we're moving to 425s. So what I did notice is a reverse split on this one. And then, and then I said, I don't like the chart. I mean, it seems to be downtrending by a lot. I don't know if they have news. I mean, Magda wants to curl up, but I wouldn't be that um sure about that. I mean, this is Top of stock that it needs to, it seems like a big catalyst to move. But I mean, it seems that wants to, because, you know, Mike, they want to start to, to curl up, but you definitely need to see that confirmation there. Yeah, I'm going to make some levels on this one, because I think this might make a move, like, towards the end of the day as well, because volume seems to be increasing. But, you know, we're going to see if we can make a couple levels. Yeah, we got a couple of that. 170 is going to be pretty cool, guys. 2.26. 
And the AMG all as well now, man. How many? If anybody took that four dollar break, I was crazy in this one. I mean, it's right in the trend up. I mean, I already broke the two hundred man on the four hour, and it's just going. I mean, that float and that ball, and that's what I saw. So actually pushing this one up. That's. So that you see there is a wall on the 1.69 and then we got 172s. So those those need to crack and then it should walk start gapping up. But the problem is there is no much volume on this one. But it can definitely open. I mean, I think if we actually break that one, it's gonna open like to 199s, two dollars. That's kind of the area that we rejected last time. But it needs patience. Patience, patience is something that a lot of people lack of. I think this one eventually is going to do it. Let's see. And if not, like, and we only got a starter, and I'm willing to swing this because, like I said, it does have potential, though. Daily chart is there. Weekly chart is there. We definitely have a four-hour chart. This kind of look, you know, reminds me to that BBLG chart. Because if you look, remember when BBLG had a four-hour curl up? You see how it looked what it did? And if you look BBLG four-hour and look that CMC, but our it's exactly the same. I want to start curling up and start guiding those uh those buyers. That's why I think it's just matter of time. But needs that's one seventy break. And the same deal is crazy one. Wants to keep running. It's at ninety one percent, so I will probably say that it's on the eighty one twenty percent range. If it doesn't break the trend, if it reaches for seventy, it's rather resistance. But if it cracks at for seventy, and it cracks for eighty one. You might see fives, maybe six. But it's too extended. Like in this, this kind of trades. Like if you're not early, then you better don't chase. But there you go. You got a pop CZMD. 176. Uh, this should get some momentum on this. Let's 
is writer assistance too. And so bars are stepping in now. We broke that. Remember that 169, 172 all. You got 170, 177. Yeah, 175, 177 is what you have right now. That is what he needs to crack. Those two walls gone. And if he, those two are gone, then we are going to go to 180s. Yeah, 180s, 184s. Yeah, he's Popping again. Yeah. Yep, like I said, once you crack that, and Gil is going to be on the runs. Breaking flag after flag. Yeah, first one he broke this. Those are cool flags. No, I broke this in the triangle. I mean, you, you even you can spot patterns on these multi time frames. First, you broke that flag. Second one is in the triangle. And like you through through the day, you can actually spot a lot of patterns. And you see that those are breakout patterns. We first breakout was this in the triangle. And then we got a flag. And then they're breaking now here. And then the la the latest one was that another ascended triangle, and he popped the four seventy nine. So you know, as you trade, you're gonna get familiar with those patterns, and of course, you know you you're gonna be able to spot them and then trade based on those. You know, kind of like anticipate those breakouts. That can happen. You know, I mean, obviously they're not guaranteed, but if you have the volume, you got a trend, and you know, it's a it's a very likely scenario. To uh, to happen. But yeah, I mean, MGO, like I said, I have been watching it. Like, ideal entry in this one should be like around like 315s, 310s. That, that will have been like a great entry. And so we got, um, see these pushing right here? 175, since the one's ready to break out. It's getting a little volatile here. 
some big buys coming in. My four hours trying to snap. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah but uh, anything else guys uh you let me check anything else but should be on until like 12 a couple of minutes because i have to leave i have to have an appointment at one but we saw that we got solid day guys quite a move you know ldx pays pretty good there's the most tilt to pay us but then he's been giving quite a moves oh if anybody didn't swing actually pop look at that thing man just snap from that b what break damn that was a snap. That was a big, big snap from that BWAP break, from that accumulation that we were talking about. Yeah, accumulated. Boom, came, snap. On GL, man, I think, I think it's one that's going to go for those fives. Like I said, if you're cracked for assistance, um, I guess 481 and it's gonna open up easily to fives because it's a 90 percent right now so we're gonna have all of the 9 90 120 percent and i mean it has the trend it has the volume it has the momentum well i i added already you know i am rx um uh, i did that yesterday so yeah it means talk a lot to you, but I did it already. I mean, the market is in a good momentum. See the market is green today. See the data came out from the, this morning. Seems that's kind of a move the market today. So this is when um, if the market is green now, we kind of wanted to find out what is going to be the stock that might run later on the day and after hours.
Look at big dive. So if anybody wasn't there, she would stop out right now. And that's why it's important to always to take profit. That that probably stopped me out. Yep, snapping. It's gonna go for those fives. Told you. Let's go to break. Rig the resets and levels. Let me just snaps. One ninety nine. There you go. Top your five. Five twelve, and then that's gonna open until next resistance. All the way until like five point forty eight. The one twenty was a range. Remember one eighty. I already tap it. There you go. Boom. Money. <laughs> Money. All right, man. Now we guys bank on this one too. There was another bank here. Oh, you guys, we were in that range. So, you guys, if we actually break that resistance, we're going to snap. It was that low flow. I mean, we had a momentum, we had a trend. So, I'm going to give some my money. Well, I guess, take care. Got to take a couple of things. I'll be in chat. All right. See you guys.